Okay, I am duly recording. I just started my Nikon camera, but I was, I'm already recording on my phone here. This is a defective light. It is actually much easier to see it through the phone than through my camera here. However, this camera does have an advantage, and that is that I can zoom in and prove that it's defective. In the upper right hand, upper left hand corner, even from here, I have just proved that's a defective light uh, without even being able to see the individual LED panels. Um, these people are probably sleeping. I don't know if I want to get out or not and uh, walk around this thing, but that's even better proof to walk around and look at it at different angles. I'm going to pause it on my Nikon camera though. Here. Okay, I just unpaused this camera so that I can look at another perspective here to prove to you guys that this is heterogeneous. I've actually not even seen it from this angle yet, but I already know what it's going to be. Okay, you can see that that blue color. That's the LED panels giving away, like the phosphor coating is starting to give way on this. If we change the angle, I can still see it even visually that the other that the side furthest away from us is actually bluer than this side. If we zoom in on this. See that the same side is actually blue. So this is not an optical phenomenon. This is not an upper right hand corner again, guys. It's absolutely a defective light. I can tell a lot better close up. Now here's the here's the reason that I really think this is on purpose, guys. Besides the fact that it's an evac route like like the other ones are. That light right there is yellower than the other lights. Okay. It's really easy to even look at that light and be like, oh. Well, I'm just seeing that, oops, sorry. My other camera wasn't focusing on this. So no, we're both focusing on that light. Visually, that light looks like an incandescent light. But among these other lights, it's the only one that looks like an incandescent light. And it just happens to be next to one that's slightly purpler, which is like an opposite color. It's very easy just to see the contrast and, th and think nothing of it. Plus with that right there in the background of this, there's no way in hell unless you're one of me because you've been looking at lights for a long time and you know where to find them that I would ever I would never find this any other way guys I've been doing research for 15 months on this and I have just proven to you that this is a defective light I'm gonna do even better than this though and I'm gonna take the track that I take to get back here and the track people are most likely to actually see this on um, and I'm going to record on just my phone camera because you can if you're watching this video where I zoomed down the LED panel one more time guys I'm gonna see if I can get right under this thing just it's like basically someone's yard though so I don't want to get too close one more time so we can see individual LEDs yeah I don't think I will see individual LEDs okay that's all I'm gonna do on my zooming camera guys because I have my phone camera and it's a lot better for just driving around. I don't actually have like a um, like a dash cam uh, holder for this this camera here. Okay, so I'm going to end this camera on the Nikon. Please share this. Please look at a map. That's Kings Highway. Oh, I didn't really prove where I was. Okay, actually I'm going to keep this camera on. I'm going to set this on my dash. I'm going to pause it real quick though. Okay, once again I'm unpausing this because I want to actually prove where I am. I didn't just pick another location. My other camera is still rolling right now, but I'm zooming in on this to prove to you again that we are at the same light that's defective. It's getting bluer on some of the LEDs. Okay. That's those lights right there. Now I'm going to turn around and I'm going to take the trek that I keep taking. Like every day. Why it's so hard to notice this, even for me. I'm always looking at lights, guys. Okay. And there's a light, and I'm actually possibly going to show this to you also. Another light. Actually, if I want to go all the way over there. I've shown you in previous videos that there is a purplish light on the King's Highway. At, uh, it's like a camping kind of place. Like on the right, there's kind of some bluish light on the house as well. I don't know. I think next to the one with the pink on it. Okay, 
I'm actually concerned about my camera here now, guys. Um, so you're gonna have to, if you're watching this video, you're gonna have to look up this video, and it's gonna be sometime, like maybe a day, be, this will be uploaded a day before um, what you see on this camera. But looking to the left here to prove where I am, maybe this will probably help. This is looking approximately westward. Yeah, that should be specific enough if you look up these businesses. This is King's Highway right here. And I'm gonna go east in this video and show you some more stuff, okay? Right now I'm facing approximately, maybe approximately north. The highway lights right there, that's, uh, that's Interstate 75, okay? All right, because we're almost in Port Charlotte. This is exactly where they would put that kind of light, almost. Uh, I mean, they're either, you don't just have to put it in one place, but this is on the edge, guys, of the Port Charlotte area. A way to evacuate. Now I'm gonna pause this, I'm gonna stop this video here. 